See you waving those hands. Come on, say, I got it, I got it. 
chapter, 15 chapter, you'll see where they kill all these nations later. Y'all, they kill every one of them. So, to, uh, their job was going around and killing everything come along. But here's the key to it. The kings, uh, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the elders found a way 
and told the, the king to go to Joshua. You follow me? And, 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 uh, and, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and tell a lie. And now wait, but the lie didn't justify him. Just like Rahab, uh, the lie didn't justify but the faith of it. And they went there with dirty clothes on, with raggedy clothes on, and they had wine bottles that was old. They poured new wine into it. Y'all follow me? So, so, so when they saw him coming, they saw how dirty their clothes was. It was tore up and everything. And, 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 and they saw how they, they said we, the bread was good, but we went, we, it took so long to get here, the bread, the bread went stale. Y'all follow me? Got mold on it. 15 first, real quick. Joshua, real quick. 24, 15, real quick. I, I rather 9, 15, real, real quick. Joshua 9 and 15. Go ahead. And Joshua made peace with them. In other words, they told Joshua, remember now, God never said nothing about killing all the folks that was, that was out far, but the ones that was close. So then they asked Joshua, if we take a league with you, and we will cut your wood, and we will serve the water to the people. So Joshua did what now? And Joshua made peace with them. Read it. And made a league with them uh -huh. to let them leave. In other words, he was told to kill them, but not the ones of fall. Let me, let me interrupt this also again. He still killed those that was far off later on. Go ahead. And the prince of the congregation swear unto them. Uh -huh. And it came to pass. Now notice on the prince who we won't kill you. But here's the key to it. They found a way to live. You got to find a way to live. And the only way is Jesus Christ. It's not with your job, not with your mom and daddy, not with Bishop Jeff and Dr., but with God. That's the only way. You follow me? If you don't find him, in the end, you lose. Anybody don't have Jesus Christ, in the end, you lose. But these men were wise. You say they told a lie, but they lived. They lived. The same way that God spoke to me about Jeroboam. You are following me? Jeroboam did something that I never saw before. I mean, he did something. He got the child to live by asking God in another way to live. Read from it. Verse 16. And it came to pass at the end of three days. Uh -huh. After they had made a league with them, Read it. that they heard uh -huh. that they were their neighbors, uh -huh. and they dwelt among them. Go ahead. And the children of Israel journeyed and came down to the cities on the third day. Read it. Now the cities were Gibeon uh -huh. and Seraphim. Now notice the word Gilead. Dr. Jarvis said Gilead is the only one that God did not destroy because they believed that they came from afar, but they were right next door. Tell somebody that God said, kill your neighbor. Tell them. <laughs> Hold it now. Wait, wait, wait. Let me retract that. Some of y'all got these kind of mind. Vicious here, come kill you. No, I ain't said that. <laughs> no, sir. I'll be in court. I ain't telling folks to kill nobody. God told Israel to kill his neighbor, their neighbors. Kill them. Because he has just destroyed, uh, 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 just destroyed Jericho. So he knew that if they were close around Jericho, they had a league already. Y'all follow me? So God said, kill them. So then after about three days, I hear, I'm just, look at, God hid it from Joshua. Because when they came with those bottles that was all tore up and the, the molded bread and they changed their clothes from a fall, God saw their faith. Hello. They made a lie, but God saw their faith. Y'all ain't got to say amen. amen. I'm going to prove it in just a minute. God saw their faith, and God would not let Joshua kill them. Read it for me. And now their cities were Gibeon and Sheriff uh -huh. and Beeroth Read it. and Kirjav Jerim. Read it. And the children of Israel Read. smote them not. Read. Why? They, they didn't kill them. Read. Because the princes of the congregation had sworn unto them by the Lord God of Israel. They gave them a pass. They swore. They shook hands. Said, We would not kill you. And would you say that? You can do nothing. Right quick, right quick. Psalm 15, right quick. And one. Once you say that, you swear to your own hurt. To go back, you catch yourself. Just wasn't about to do that. Read for me. 
Psalms 15 and 1. Read it. Lord, who shall abide in thy tabernacle? Read it. Who shall dwell in thy holy heat? Uh -huh. He that walketh upright. Read. And worketh righteousness. Read. And speaketh the truth. Read. In his heart. Read. He that backbiteth not with his tongue. Read. Now doeth evil Read. to his neighbor. Uh -huh. Now taketh up a reproach Read. against his neighbor. Read. Whose eyes a vile person Read. is content. Read. But he honoreth them Read. that fear the Lord. Read. He that swear to his own. Do what now? And he that swear to his own hurt. Read. And changeth not. Read. He that putteth not out his money to Ursula. Hold it. When you make a vow to God, don't try to change it, because God is going to change it. Why? Well, it's fool to your own hurt. When the princess made a decision and Joshua okayed it, that means there was I'm under a death sentence. And all of the world was under death sentence from God, except his people. That sounds kind of bad, don't it? <laughs> Uh -uh. Believe it or not, you are servants of God. And your job is to kill all of those devils that come at you. Amen. What is in mama, daddy, wife, husband? How am I going to kill them? Just speak the word. Just speak the word. Devils cannot stand God's word. But most of y'all, you don't speak your own words. I mean, God, you speak your own words. Read from Harry. Verse 18 continues. Read. Uh -huh. And the children of Israel smote them not. Read. Because the princes of the congregation had sworn unto them by the Lord God of Israel. They did what now? They swore unto them. Read. By the Lord God of Israel. Read it. And all the congregation murmured against the princes. Read another word. Why he didn't kill them? There was a why you probably kill these folk. But wait a minute, wait a minute. To kill these folks after I sworn would curse me. Mm. They wouldn't do it. And Joshua delivered them out of the hands of Israel. Because Joshua knew God's word. You got to know God's word, know what you're going to do in God. Read it for me. But all the princes said unto all the congregation, Read it. We have sworn unto them Read. by the Lord God of Israel. Read it. Now therefore we may not touch them. Read. This will we do to them. Read. We will even let them live. Uh -huh. Lest wrath be upon us. In other words, if we, if we kill them, God will kill us. Because we swore by the name of the Lord, we wouldn't kill them. If you don't know what you're doing in God, in the end, you're going to lose. You got to be able to tell people exactly what thus said the Lord. Y'all follow me? Yes, sir. But the, what the whole point is that they did something, and Joshua recognized it. Over here, real right quick, uh, 1 Kings 14 and 1. Go ahead, keep reading, son. Lest wrath be upon us. Read it. Because of the oath which we swear unto them. Read it. And the princess said unto them, Read. Let them live. What now? Let them live. Read. But let them be hewers of wood. Well, they said, We'll cut your wood, we'll give you water. Now, wait now. Israel was a, was a lot of people in Israel. They worked day and night, trust me. They didn't get, see, you may tell a lie. But no lies justify anybody. When, um, when, when Hagar, not Hagar, but, but, but when her, the, the harlot Rahab told the lie, then it wasn't a lie that justified her. But she saved life by sending them out another way. She's wrote in the Hall of Fame. The Hall of Fame in the Bible, Hebrews 11 chapter. But you will not find the most powerful man that was on it, the most smartest man. Solomon's not in there. He had many wives and concubines. And the Bible said, in the end, those women changed his heart against God. If you want to go to hell, find up. Well, praise the Lord. Amen. <laughs> hey I'm telling you. You go to hell, I would dare say Solomon went to hell, you know. Said to myself, we'll see when you get there. Tell him. Hey, Amen. I'm telling you, I wouldn't say that. He's just not in the Hall of Fame. He's already got a whore, but he ain't there yet. 14 and 1, read for me. 
Now, watch here now. God pronounced judgment upon, uh, upon a certain preacher. And he, he asked his wife, said that, go tell that man that, say, that I'm going to become prophet. When everybody dies, what happens to the child? And I never saw it before. I've preached it many times. I never saw it before. The Lord called me this morning in prayer. He said, this is what really happened. Y'all follow Turn to my, this is what happened. Tell them, tell them, this is what happened. And the thing about it is that he said, defame yourself. When you defame yourself, you disguise yourself. Y'all follow me? But he, she had to defame her. Elijah was blind because he was old. Y'all follow me? But God tells Elijah, Elijah, yes, sir. The wife of Gerald, of Gerald Bone comes and she defames herself. Tell her to get back to the city. When her feet hit her house, I'm going to kill the child. Watch that. Why? I found some good thing in that child. Wait now. God went back on his own word because God said, I'm going to kill them all. But the faith was that Jeroboam sent his wife. Y'all follow me? When God saw that, when God saw that Jeroboam wanted a child to live, he forgot about himself. You got to forget about yourself and help other folks so God can bless you. Right. You ain't got to say amen to it here. Well, she, he changed the course of God. God already said, I'm going to kill them all. He didn't, he didn't excuse the baby. But when the woman came and asked, I know she was crying too. When he sent the woman to, to find out about my little child, God said, nobody's going to the grave. I'm going to let the birds eat them. I'm going to let the dog eat them. I'm going I'm to let the rabbits eat them. I'm going to let everything eat them, but they will not be buried. But God changed his mind. You tell somebody, you can change God's mind. Tell them. Tell, tell them. No, no, tell them. Tell, look at me. You can change God's mind. All through the Bible, people change God's mind. Now, don't get it twisted. Now, his mind was already changed. Hey, God, pardon me. Now, don't get it twisted. It was ordained that he changed that mind. But, but the thing is that God said, listen, I made a, a vow that all of them would die. He said, but because Jeroboam was so concerned about his, his child, no more himself, he sent his wife with a lie to the famous. But I saw what they did. And I said these words, only that child is coming to the grave. Why? Because I changed my mind. Read for me. First Kings 14 and 1. Go ahead. At that time, uh -huh. Abijah, the son of Jeroboam, Read it. fell sick. Uh -huh. And Jeroboam said to his wife, Read. Arise, I pray thee, uh -huh. and disguise thyself. Read it. That thou be not known to be the wife of Jeroboam. In other words, don't let me to come and read from it. And get thee to Shiloh. Uh -huh. Behold, uh -huh. there is Abijah the prophet, uh -huh. which told me uh -huh. that I should be king over his people. Read. And take with thee ten loaves. Read. In other words, he, she didn't go empty. When you come into God's house, you should never come into God's house empty. Never. Try going to the mall with no money. Look kind of stupid, don't it? Who else I had that? If you had money, you'd have it. You follow me? Because my son said, you got some money, tell him. Tell him. For yourself, tell him. But all through the scripture, in the ninth chapter, of, of first Samuel when Saul became king they trying to find Keisha's mules and they looked all day long couldn't find them and found they sat down and the servant said there's a man on the hill whatever he says come to pass he said but we can't go without anything to tell the man of God and they took some loaves and they carried it to the man of God and Saul became king because of that you can give God something and God will see your faith. God saw the faith of, of the of their born. He saw the faith of his wife and God didn't kill the child. He changed his mind. You follow me? 
God saw how the, how the people lied and got their life out of jeopardy. And in doing so, he wouldn't let Joshua touch him. Read over here. Verse 3 continues. And take with thee ten loaves, Read. and cracknels, Read. and a cruise of honey, Read. and go to him. Read. He shall tell thee what shall become of the child. The man of God going to tell you what to do, I'm gonna, what God going to do with that child. Wait now. He know God always said, I'm going to kill him. He knew that. But he also knew God was merciful. He knew that we all sit here now and all the sin and things we've done. We sit here now because God loves us. He's merciful. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You, you, better, you better look at yourself in the mirror tomorrow. Amen. It's by his grace we're not going to destroy it. Yes, sir. All the junk Bishop Jefferson done did and all the things I did, I can't help but to praise him. Yes, sir. A deep desire, I got it. I got it. See, some of y'all want to play church. I quit playing church when I came out of hell. Hello, some of y'all follow me? You don't play church with God. You become the church. You stand up for God. And everything that folk come against God with, you stop them. You're supposed to go out and stop them and bring folks from the street, from the highway, byway, from the, and bring them to God's house. That's what it's all about. Read it for me. And Jeroboam's wife did so, and arose, and went to Shiloh, Read. and came to the house of Ahijah. Read. But Ahijah could not see. In other words, he was, because of age, he was blind. It don't mean God don't love you if your eyes go bad. It means that, hey, you know, you, you, you're getting old. Hey, man, it does. You can't hear sometimes. It don't mean that he don't love it. It means that, you know, you can hear him. Hey, Amen. 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 Come on, so y'all follow me? Yes, yeah. Heal. The eyes don't get healed. Heal. You don't get healed. It don't mean God ain't, can, can't heal you. It means that he mean that you know you don't know how you don't know how long you got, but he do. Go ahead now. Read quick. <laughs> For his eyes were set by reason of his age. Read it. And the Lord said unto Hodge, uh -huh. Behold, the wife of Jeroboam cometh to ask a thing of thee. Read it. For her son. Read. For he is sick. Read. Thus and thus shall thou say unto her. Read. For it shall be. Read. When she cometh in. Read. That she shall feign herself to she be another one. Feign her be somewhere. Else. Read from it. And it was so. Read. When Ahijah heard the sound of her feet. Read. As she came in at the door. Read it. That he said. Uh huh. Come in, thou wife of Jeroboam. Read it. Why feignest thyself? Read. To be another. Why are you disguised? I know who you are, and I'm blind. Hello. Those that blown to God, doctor, you be praying and God said, I want you to tell so-and-so and so-and-so. I remember I first got saved, I dreamed and the girl name was Kathy. I dreamed that she was plaiting an unsaved boy's hair. And uh, this is when God started dealing me with miracles. And uh, he said, I want you to go to tomorrow and I want you to tell it for the whole congregation that's going to deliver her. I said, Lord, y'all didn't know my pastor. You didn't do that in this, this church. So I got to the church house and looked around, and she wasn't there. I was happy. I said, lose the devil. You can't trick me. <laughs> I wasn't the devil. See, I handled the praise service. I didn't sing, but I, you know, I said, you do, do that. I handled the praise service. By that time, Kathy walks in. My heart said, poof, poof, poof. Pastor, a little bit of short fellow. He, he was a genius. He was so smart. He was a genius. He'd be walking with his Bible like this here. He wasn't old now. He trying to act old. Y'all finally wasn't old. <laughs> y'all stop trying to act old. You're going to get old soon enough. Ask me. Hit her. Y'all walk like y'all got some sense. You're old Bible. You're 25 years old. Uh, you're going to be crawling at 26. Come on. Quit trying to be something that you're not. You're going you're gonna to get old. Trust me. Amen. You're going to get old, trust me, if you live that long. And she came in and God said, I tell, stop the whole service. You didn't stop my pastor's service. God will tell you to do things that, that you, you think God is crazy sometimes. You say, hey, ain't God doing that. Because I said, stop it and tell him. I said, hold it. Everybody got quiet. 
Brother Black went back in the back back there to study him. I said, Kathy, come down here. God said, don't ever go in the church and say, God said, even a flower pill touch him. Oh, God. <laughs> Folks don't believe in God no more. The devil said it. Now, I know he said that. God said last night you were planting an unsaved man's hair. Stop it or he's going to get you. She hit them knees and said, God, I thank you. I bless you. I praise you. I ask you to stop me. And the whole church house went up. Yes, sir. Then I'm waiting on Brother Black to come out. He come out. That's my boy that said that. <laughs> <laughs> See, when the leader gives you a good recommendation, you feel good. Hey man, I'm telling you. Yes, sir. He did you get your bad one. You don't feel so cool. Y'all follow me? No, sir. But the point is, when God tell you to do something, you do it. Yes, sir. Y'all follow me? Don't pull that mess on me here, though. I'm, I, don't pull that on me. Come tell me first. Y'all follow me? Y'all, well, the Lord told no, 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 no. The Lord told me to shut up. I said, shut up and sit down. <laughs> My pastor told a woman one time, she come in there. I just got to tell him. <laughs> he had already told folks, now let me get up and preach. Y'all don't say nothing now. I got to tell this. Oh, the Lord told me to. He said, he said, it's burning. He said, let it burn you up. Sit your behind down somewhere. <laughs> Why? She out of order. Yes, sir. If God yes, tell you to do something, you're never out of order because folk won't receive it. That's right. Not everybody now. Y'all follow me? Read for me. Verse 6 continues. For I am sent to thee with heavy tidings. Read. Go tell Jeroboam. Uh -huh. Thus saith the Lord God of Israel. Read. For as much as I exalted thee from among the people. I made you king. God made some of y'all ushers. He made some of y'all this and that. He exalted you from among the people. And you still don't believe that God got you there. Let me tell you something right now. Most is not from the east, south, or west. It's from God. He raised one up, take another down. Hell, y'all follow me? God raised you, not Bishop Joseph. God raised you up. I exalted you. I gave you this and that. And you didn't serve me. Read. And may thee prince over my people Israel. Read. And rid the kingdom away. Read. From the house of David. Read. And gave it thee. Read. And yet thou hast not been as my servant David. Read. Who kept my commandments. Read. Up. And who followed me with all his heart. Read. To do that only which was right in my eyes. Read. Up. But thou hast done evil. Read. Above all that were before thee. Read. Up. For thou hast gone and made the other gods. Read. And molten images. Now you can make other gods. Many ways. Y'all want to hear one of them? Taking God's tithe money and offering and paying your own bills with it. Come on. I'm about new furniture. But ain't that God's tithe money you using? So you got another God above God. Yes, you have. Some of y'all go out and do all kind of stuff and then give God what's left. God has never been second. He'll never be second. Watch him. Proverbs 3, real quick, and 5 from real quick. Keep on reading, my son. And has provoked me to anger. Read. And it cast me behind thy back. Read. Therefore, behold, I will bring evil upon the house of Jeroboam. Read it. And will cut off Jeroboam from him that pisseth against the wall. Cut off what now? And cut off from Jeroboam. Good, huh? Him that pisseth against the wall. I'm going to kill every man. Why, Mr. Jeroboam? When you kill every man, the whole family disappears. The name is gone. You want to kill a family? Kill the men. And there's no man, there's no more family. Yeah, <laughs> yeah huh? it's child support. Okay. Amen. Yeah. Uh, child support. I'm going to ask you, I'm you doing child support. Look at somebody and tell them, say, if you're your child, you all support. Okay, amen. <laughs> amen. That's how it was. Read for me. And him that is shut up and left in Israel. Go ahead. And will take away the remnant of the house of Jeroboam. Go ahead. As a man that taketh away. Uh-huh. Dung till it be all gone. Jeroboam, you nothing but mess to me. You, some of y'all just keep mess going all the time. And thank God ain't going to get you. But God going to set your ball and fields on fire. You 
you barbecue the preacher and throw rocks at the, at, 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 at the pastors. But you got a day coming, trust me. You're not afraid to talk evil of, 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 of authority. You find in Second Peter. I'm telling you, God going to set your ball the fields on fire. God was in your job board. If a, if a person left in the, and, and on, uh, left in the, uh, on the head, I'm going to let the dogs eat him. Read for me. Verse 11. Him that dieth of Jeroboam, in the city shall the dogs eat. Read. And him that dieth in the field, Read. shall the fowls of the air eat. Read it. For the Lord hath spoken. Read. Arise therefore. Read. Get thee to thine own house. Read. And when thy feet enter into the city, Read. the child shall die. Read. And all Israel shall mourn for him. Read. And bury him. Read. For he only Read. of Jeroboam shall come to the grave. In other words, I changed my mind. I spoke a word that anybody that died was going to let the dogs eat them. Because his wife and him got together, they changed my mind. I'm going to let this little baby yes, sir. come to the grave. They're going to bury and moan. But they won't moan for the ones that the dog eat. Y'all follow me? I'm showing you the mercy of God and what God does to all of us. You know the Bible said we were dogs? You know that, don't you? Oh, come on. We were dogs and wasn't of the commonwealth of Israel. That's what we were. Without our dogs and sorcerers. He didn't make a lie. But God, in Hebrews, in Romans 11 chapter, cut off Israel and put a sour olive, a sour, a sour lemon and made us sweet. Tell somebody how sweet he is. Tell them. Tell them. You're sweet now. You smell good now. Because yes, some of y'all was thinking up something. Amen, yes, somebody. Sin is a stink in God's nostril. Y'all follow me? It's a stink in God's nostril. Watch him. Go back now to, uh, to uh, uh, where we was a while ago. Let's read. Let's finish real quick. Joshua 9 and 21. Go ahead. And the princess said unto them, Read them. Let them live. Read. But let them be hewers of wood. In other words, they lied, but God fixed it where I can't kill them. Because they catch 22 him. They supposed to die, but they got me to say that I make a league with them. So I can't change what I done said. So I'm gonna make them go to work and talk the water and cut the wood. If I come against him, I can be cursed. Y'all follow me? So God put in there a a a a a, 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 a and Joshua so he could not kill them. And trust me, it was God too. Read for me. And draws of water. Read it. Unto all the congregation. Read. As the princes had promised them. Read it. And Joshua called for them. Read. And he spake unto them, saying, Read. Wherefore have you beguiled us? Why did you beguile us? Why did you trick us? Wait, wait. He didn't trick you, God did. Wait now. God had told you to kill these folk. And God fixed it, Joshua, where you couldn't kill them. Because Joshua saw their faith. Y'all may think it's trickery to bring old clothes and old shoes and, and put uh, uh, new wine in old bottles and have stale bread and lie. Would you want to lie or die? You choose. You choose. Because Joshua followed God's order to the letter. You follow me? He would have killed every one of them. So God had to put something in Joshua that Joshua could not kill them. You follow me? So it wasn't Joshua, it was God. Read for me. Wherefore have you beguiled us? Read it. Saying we are from very far from you. Read it. When ye dwell among us. You're right here. Read for me. Now therefore ye are cursed. Read. And there shall none of you be free. Read. From being bondmen. Now don't get it twisted. Now you do wrong, tell a lie. God going to get you for it. But thank God, I said, thank God, God don't get me the rest of my life. Tell him, he don't do that. Thank Read it for me. And hewers of wood. Read. And draws of water. Read. For the house of my God. What verse is that? Verse 23. Now, I do 20. Now, watch here. Now, here is the key to it. I said, this is the key to it. This is the key to it. Read for me. Verse 24. Uh-huh. And they answered Joshua and said. Read. Because it was certainly told. In other words, we knew you had killed all the other people. We know that you are a powerful people. We have to find some way to get your God not to kill us. So we lied. We told a lie. But God 
don't look at lies, God look at heart. Read it for me. Because it was certainly told thy servants. Read. How that the Lord thy God commanded his servant Moses. Read. To give you all the land. Read. And to destroy all the inhabitants of the land. How many inhabitants of the land? All the inhabitants. That means babies, that means women, children. Kill them all. Kill them all. Why? They don't serve me. We think God going to do this earth. He's going to kill everything that don't serve him. Yes, sir. Listen very carefully. Now, don't get it twisted now. He going to kill everyone that don't serve him. Get rid of them. That mean of God? No. Watch him. I got to quit. <laughs> Romans 9 from real quick. Get it read for me the 7, 16, 17 verse Romans 9. Just the bishop almost through telling. Read it. Romans 9 and 16. Go ahead. So then it's not of him that will it. What now? It's not of him that will it. Say it's not my will. Tell him. Not my will. Read. Not of him that run. Read. But of God. Read. That showeth mercy. Read it. For the scripture saith on the Pharaoh. Read. Even for the same purpose. What now? For this same purpose. Read. Have I raised thee up. Why? That I might show my power. So I can kill you. Pharaoh was raised up to be killed. Same as Judas. Everybody ain't raised up to get to heaven. God raised Pharaoh up, made him a great king to show people he's the only king. You follow me? To show my wrath in you. And you, if you got the right spirit, you understand God is still Father, Lord, and God. But God's the greatest killer I know. I don't know nobody kill like God. God invented death for you. Amen. He will. As the 16th chapter number, ask what he, what he did in Moses' day. He, he, God, Moses said, if God don't do a new thing, then God ain't sent me. He said, if God don't open up this earth for the first time and let the folk go into hell alive, I'll stop preaching. Come on out of here. Before he got through preaching, the, the ground opened, all them devils went in the ground, screaming and hollering, burning up. That's about him. That's about my God's awesome. Tell him. Read for me. That I might show my power in thee. Uh -huh. And that my name might be declared throughout all the earth. Why do you think this testimony is still going on now? Because God showed people back then. And we got it now. Go back where we was real quick. Let's quit. Let's quit. And to destroy all the inhabitants of the land. Read it. From before you. Uh -huh. Therefore we were so afraid. What now? We were so afraid. Say it again. We were so afraid. We was afraid. Because we knew what Moses did. He killed people that didn't belong to God. Commanded by God. That's why you ought to stay out around people that curse God or people don't want to serve God. Be not deceived. Evil communication corrupt good manners. You can be doing good towards God and some old devil show up yes, sir. and before you know it, you're following behind them. But they was afraid. They said these words. We lied. Therefore, do what you want to do to us. But at least we got God not to kill us. Read it. And therefore, we were so afraid of our lives. Read. Because of you. Read. And have done this thing. Read. And now, behold, we are in thine hand. You and I, we're in your hands. But I know this here. You can't kill me. <laughs> Amen. You know what they were saying? You can't kill me. Because you shook my hand. Made a lead with me. And God, don't care whether they saved or unsaved. You make a promise. You better keep that promise. Read it. As it seemeth good and right unto thee, do unto us. In other words, we, we're not saying we didn't tell a lie. You're born not saying he didn't do wrong, but God saved that child. I like what Joshua said. Look at Joshua right quick. Well, look at uh, the Joshua, the uh, 11th chapter, 18, uh, 18, 19, 20. Verse, read from it real quick. See, we're we finna stop real quick. We don't through. We don't never get through. Hey, I just love God. Read it for me. Joshua 11 and 18. Go ahead. Joshua made a long. What now? Joshua made war a long time. Uh-huh. With all those kings. What, what now? With all those kings. He made war a long time with all those kings, but he killed every one of them. Read it. There was not a city Read. that made peace with the children of Israel. In other words, they wouldn't make peace. They wanted the war. Except for the same city 
They came. Read from who was it? Save the Hittite. Read. And the inhabitants of Gibeon. What now? The inhabitants of Gibeon. Read. All other they took in the battle. When they took the land, they gave it to Israel. I remember, Dr. Jeddah, when we came into Florida, we took all the houses that surround us was inhabited with people that was doing drugs and yes. prostitution. Even down to the church in Tampa. They were everywhere. But God, in his mercy, gave us to buy up all the houses. Y'all yes, follow me? And put people in there that, that God said is worthy to be in those houses. And there were a lot of them all over. Y'all, some of y'all remember? Yes, sir. Amen. Yes, sir. And then the people came all from everywhere coming in. Well, that's when it happened again. Amen, son. It happened again. Amen. We're going to take that park back and everything back. Take it all back. But don't make no mistake. It wasn't Bishop Dr. Jefferson. It was God all by himself. Only God can change hearts of people. God changed their hearts. Let's just hear. Hope we stop it. Go ahead. Verse 26. And so did he unto them. And delivered them out of the hand of the children of Israel. In other words, Joshua wouldn't let them kill them. Go ahead, son. That they slew them not. Go ahead. And Joshua made them the hewers of wood. Go, go now to uh, the 14th chapter in the 6th verse of Joshua. Go sit around. You're you, you getting me the 24th chapter and the 29th verse. Read for me. Joshua 14 and 6. Read. Now, here's jo Joshua bragging now. He said, when I was 40 years old, when Moses came to me, he said, now I'm, I'm, I'm four scores and five. You follow me? I'm 85 years old, Terrence, and I'm still feeling good. I still can pick up a sword. Read for me. Then the children of Judah came unto Joshua and Gilgal. Read. And Caleb the son of Jephunneh. Read. The Kenzite said unto him. Read. Thou knowest the thing that the Lord said unto Moses. Read it. The man of God. Read. Concerning me in the marriage. Read it. Forty years old. What now? Forty years old. Forty. And why do y'all give, give forty dollars out to the servant? Why? Forty changes things. It changed Moses. It changed Joshua. Forty changes things. It'll change your life. All through the Bible, when 40 came up, it was ending something bad and bringing something good together. Y'all follow me? Or it was, here I was doing this, now I'm not doing this no more. Why? Because 40 means beginning and change. The world was destroyed in 40 days and 40 nights. He ended the world and started another. Read for me. Forty years old was I when Moses, the servant of the Lord, Read it. sent me to Kadesh Barnea Read. to spy out the land. Read. And I brought him word again. In other words, I brought him a, a, a word. It was 12 of us. Ten of them came back with bad report. But me and my friend came back with a good report. They came by and said, the city is a wall in. People like time. But I told them, we can take the city. You tell someone, you can take the city. Tell them, tell them. Y'all ain't said, so I can take this city. Tell them. Take this city. But don't go out and take it, though. <laughs> Read from it. And I brought him word again. Read. As it was in my heart. Read. Nevertheless, my brethren. Read. That went up with me made the heart of the people melt. Read. But I wholly followed the Lord my God. Listen, if you ain't going to do right towards God here, don't hurt nobody else's heart around here. If you don't want, if you want to give a dollar, you give a dollar, but don't tell nobody else. You know, you give all that money. Think about saying, it ain't your money. No, I tell them. People do stuff like that. You know, I. He asked for all that money that day, and I just wouldn't do it. And you all say, yeah, I did. Click, hang up on their behind. People, misery, love company. You got covers of people all around, everywhere. Look at somebody said, when the sons of God came, the devil showed up too. Tell them. Read it. Verse 9. And Moses swear on that day, uh -huh. saying, surely... The land whereon thy feet have trodden shall be thine inheritance. I sent you to bring back some tithes. 
I sent you to bring on the oranges and the apples. I sent you to bring the grapes. You bought it in and complained about it. But you won't go in like the other two. They came in with a good report. All oh, the walls are big. People are giant. But we can take this city. Amen. Yo, you, you all quit saying it's a bad day. I've never seen a bad day. It's a bad day. Wind up in hell. See, I, see, I, see, see, you, I've seen some good days and not so good days. But I've never seen a bad day. Go ahead on, sir. Shall be thine inheritance uh -huh. and thy children's forever. Go ahead. Because thou hast wholly followed the Lord my God. In other words, it's going to be your inheritance and children. Go ahead on, son. And now behold. Read. The Lord have kept me alive. Go ahead. And has said these 40 and 5 years. How long? These 40 and 5 years. Uh-huh. Even since the Lord spake this word unto Moses. Read it. While the children of Israel wandered in the wilderness. Read it. And now, lo, I am this day. Read. Four score and 5 years old. I am 85. Five years old. Read for me. As yet, I am as strong this day. Read. As I was in the day that Moses sent me. Come on out of here. I ain't lost no strength. I ain't lost nothing. I can still dance. I can still wheel a boat. I can still show, have a knife. He said, I can do it all. <laughs> People think Joshua died then. This one said, Joshua wasn't through Tell him. Read it for me. As my strength was then. Read. Even so my strength is now. In other words, I lost nothing. I'm telling you, you ain't got to lose none of your strength. Don't you start bound over. You might not be able to get up. Don't become no shuffler now. Don't y'all do that. Amen. Make them some move feet. Whatever you act like you become. Whatever you act like you become. Oh, so Brown, read it for I gotta stop. Read. Joshua 24 and 29. Read it. And it came to pass after these things. Read. That Joshua, the son of Nun. Read. The servant of the Lord. Read. Died being a hundred. What now? Died being a hundred. Read. And ten years old. Hold it. Twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, hundred, ten. Five scores and ten. Black pat your hand to the Lord, somebody. Yes, sir. 